Yo! What's up everyone? Bytor here with you after a week off. I hope everyone is doing fantastic and that the job hunts are going well. We decided not to upload content last week since we are helping several of you through some of your interviews. The team understands how helpful the videos are for you, but we also believe that working one-on-one -on -one with you can yield much better results. Unfortunately, we do not have the capacity to work one-on-one -on -one with all of you at the moment, but we are working on a plan for it. In the meantime, we will keep uploading content and help individuals in a first-come, first-served basis. You know us for providing real interview questions that are open-ended in nature. We rarely ask questions that are not open-ended because we believe things like body plots, input or output impedance calculations, etc. can be solved using your current knowledge. However, we got very good feedback from the community and in reality, not all of the questions you will face will be open-ended, especially for junior engineers and recent college grads. So the team decided to make a few videos with questions that are more to the point, essentially right or wrong type of questions. That is not to say that if you get them wrong, you will bomb your interview. Remember that interviewers are always after your problem solving skills. Let's take a look at today's question. The interviewer will simply show you the circuit and tell you the following. Can you find the input impedance for this circuit? Let's try to answer that question in the most optimal way that shows the interviewer our problem solving skills. We can start by telling the interviewer something very obvious but still worth mentioning so he knows you apply your basic knowledge to solve any problem. We can say Ohm's law dictates that V equals I times R. Solving for R means V divided by I. Any problem about input or output impedance boils down to this. We can stick a test voltage at the input measure the current leaving the test source and know what the impedance seen by the source is. Let's label this node Vx. We know that if this is an ideal op-amp, that Vx is equal to zero. So we can write the equations for the current leaving the test source as I1 equals to Vn minus zero divided by R. and I2 equals 2, Vn minus V out divided by 3R. The total current leaving the source, of course, is I1 plus I2. The only unknown in our situation is V out, so let's solve for V out. This is where some folks get tripped up. They see the 3R resistor and can't solve for V out. Let me ask you the following. Does the resistor 3R play any role in our circuit? It may seem as if it was on feedback, but it's truly feeding back the output voltage to our input voltage source, not to the input of the amplifier. If we ignore the resistor 3R, then we see a very familiar structure, right? An inverting amplifier. I won't walk through deriving the gain for this amplifier, but you definitely should. Anyway, we know that the gain for this configuration will be negative 2R divided by R, or a gain of negative 2. That means that V out equals negative 2 times V in. If we replace that in our original equation for current I2, we have that V in minus negative 2 times V in divided by R3 is the current at that branch. So. I1 plus I2 equals Vn divided by R plus 3 times Vn divided by 3R. We cancel the 3s and we get that the current leaving the source is equal to Vn divided by R plus Vn divided by R. Or in other words, 2 times Vn divided by R. Remember that we initially said that resistance is equal to voltage divided by current. So, rearranging this equation, we can find that the input impedance is nothing more than R divided by 2. That's our input impedance. And there you have it, 
a very basic question that you will likely face at some point. Remember, not all of the questions will be open-ended in nature, so be ready for these. Next time, we will take a look at this problem. Don't you love switches and capacitors? Anyway, smash that like and subscribe button if you found the content helpful. See you next time. Cheers.